78 years old and I've been in Roseville Church since, um, just a minute, about 40. No, it was before that. I, I think 1940. You see, we didn't have any church or anything, and the children didn't have a Sunday school. So we started having Sunday school in the Lexington School, which was on County Road B in Lexington. And there was a custodian that let us use it for one hour for $5, and I paid her for that. And we had Sunday school, and that's how it started. And then this pastor that had come from Sacred Heart, Minnesota, he was a visiting a kind of visitation pastor, he started having uh, services in the town hall. The synod gave us money enough to start a church, and that's how it started. Well, God says, give whatever you can, and that's what I've done. When my husband was in the service, I didn't have very much, but I kept giving. I had a certain goal that I, I kept up with. The best thing about money is that if you have a goal that you want to do something with, it's there for you. But the worst thing about money is that people are greedy and they want more all the time. I always felt that if I had enough, I was happy. My oldest son is a pastor. He was a pastor at, at Fergus Falls for 25 years. And the second son, he's a Methodist, and uh, he's very active in the church, and so is his wife and grandchildren. And the third one, He's in Chicago and Florida, and he kind of spreads his wealth that way. And the other one is at Carnation Lutheran Church, and they're, he and his wife are both in the choir, and they are very active in the church. Well, they were brought up to, in the church, and it's rubbed off. to see the little church start being used again. That's a big thing. I still think about that. I, that's home to me because that's where we started. We started in the basement and uh, that was very special. Well, I'm grateful that my husband came back from the service when he was drafted. I'm grateful for my family who has been a godsend to me. I'm grateful for my church that has been for, there for me all the way. I think I'm, I've been very blessed. I never expected to live this long. And I'm not worth a darn right now, excuse me, but whatever God has got lined up for me, I don't know what it is. But I pray every night that he takes me. I'm ready. My name is Helen Armstrong, and I'm a steward. God bless Roosevelt Lutheran Church.